Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to be going over some of the different firmware versions that are available for the Uniden LRD 950 and 850, and what some of the differences are specifically with respect to the K-band filtering and TSR. Uh, in some of my previous videos, I've said that uh, the detector does not have TSR, which can be kind of an issue in filtering out traffic sensors if you have them in your area. Uh, that has since been added via firmware updates, and uh, Brainstorm69 here has actually been collecting them and then posting the different firmwares that you can have, what the changes are, and uh, a lot of people will ask, you know, which one should I run, which one is better, depending on where I live, etc. So in this video, we're going to be covering uh, what the differences are and, um, you know, which one you should run. So basically, uh, there's a bunch of different versions here that you can see. They're available for the 950 and they're available for, uh, down here, we've got different versions for the 850. There's basically two main differences that we're going to be covering here, and it has to do with whether or not uh, it can filter out these annoying traffic sensors. The way that it works, um, initially with the earlier firmware, is what we noticed during testing is uh, there was no range drop with the Unidens. Uh, the way we can look at these, you'll see up top here we have uh, the range test with full K-band sensitivity, and here's the ones with the K-band filtering options enabled. Uh, you'll see that up top here, uh, the detectors all do really well. Uh, the radar gun is over here on this side, so this detection longer range is better. Uh, but over here, once we enable the filtering options, you can see range drops quite a bit, with the exception of the Uniden. We noticed the unit didn't actually had the same range whether the filters were on or off. That was interesting because every other detector works differently. What we found through further testing is the K-band filter does not introduce uh, a delay. Typically the way TSR works is uh, it'll filter out any brief duration signals, maybe half a second or a second. Depends on you know the detector, of course. But one of the side effects is it reduces range. We can take a look at some other detectors. And for example, here's the red line, highway mode, TSR off. When we turn TSR on, it drops down to here. Uh, here's the MAX-2, TSR off, TSR on. Uh, V1, TMF off, TMF on. Uh, Whist Cobra is a little different. Whistler, you can see TF, TSFR off. Here's ones with the filter on. So you can see it drops range. Uh, the only one exception was the unit, and this was really cool. So we did some you know, further testing, like what's going on here. Uh, so that was really cool. We have an option now to... Uh, filter out you know, some of the blind spot falses that we're getting, K-band falses, without negatively impacting performance. That's really cool. However, if you live in an area where the traffic sensors actually are in use, your detector is going to be falsing constantly. And so what Uniden has done is they've come out with a new version of the firmware, uh, currently 1.51, which adds TSR and rejection from you know the traffic flow filters. So very cool. The thing is, if you enable that filter because it does introduce the delay, you're going to see a similar drop in range. And uh, we can take a look at that with some tests. Uh, let's go over just some of the test results. This is um, one of Brainstorm's tests. He had two different unidents. He had 1.22, one of the earlier ones that doesn't have TSR, and 1.48. This is a beta version. It's not available to the public. It's a, it was an early beta that has TSR. Let's take a look at this. So unit in LRD number one, which doesn't have the TSR filter. Here's uh, the range with, um, what's it called, filter off. And here it is with filter on. You can notice the, uh, the performance is the same. If we go with unit in number two, this is the one running uh, the beta version of the firmware with TSR. You'll notice here is TSR off. And with it turned on, it drops all the way down to there. So we get a pretty hefty penalty in range. So again, if you don't need the field filter, you may not necessarily want to turn it on. Now. Like I said, with uh, this being a beta firmware, this is 1.48. The current public version is 1.51. 1.51 has a reduced performance penalty. Like you can see 1.48 is a 1.1 second delay. 1.51 is a 0.8 second delay. So it's not as strong of a performance penalty. And for that reason, we're not gonna see the same level of performance. And if we take a look now, uh, let's take a look at another test. Here's one, uh, another guy did, this is Tally Ho. He did one with 1.51. And uh, here are the performance with the filter off. Here's the ones with the filter on, and the radar gun is down here. So you'll notice not as much of a performance difference. Something to keep in mind is uh, these results are very much dependent on the course. Some courses will show more of a difference. Some courses will show less of a difference. So just because we're seeing less of a difference here is partially due to the different filter. It's also partially due to the test. So it's not a direct, uh, accurate comparison to compare this to this, but nonetheless, it's a couple different tests, right? So I just kind of want to point out a couple things. So we've got that. Um, let's see, here is another test. Uh, so this one was done by X Charger. 
you can take a look a um, couple different ways of reading this one. So let's see, we've got LRD 950. Yellow is K filter off, purple is K filter on. So radar gun is right here, driving towards it in this direction, filter off, range drop, filter on. Uh, driving from this direction, filter off, filter on. So you can see, again, we're seeing a range drop with the filter on, and then this is again with uh, firmware 1.51. So this is not the beta, this is the uh, public version of the firmware. So the gist of it is basically, uh, if you need to filter out traffic sensors, you're gonna wanna, ru you're gonna wanna run 1.51, and you can click right here to download it and uh, install it in your computer. And again, there's more information here as far as all the different specific uh, known differences. If you want uh, better K-band filtering without the performance, you can run, um, or without the performance hit, you can run 1.35, and you can download that from here. Uh, this is a good option if you don't have traffic sensors in the area. And the best way to find that out is, we'll go over here to RDF, it's the RDF GS, I know a lot of you guys have seen this before, I talk about it all the time. You're gonna wanna go over here and then just click on whatever state you're in, I don't know, New Mexico. And then, if you have traffic sensors in use in your area, you'll have, uh, this, these will be lit up in green. Uh, you'll see currently for this one, there's no TSR necessary, so you won't necessarily need uh, the traffic sensor filtering. So, if you're driving and you notice it's not colored in here, you can go in here and download 1.35. Or if your detector already has it, awesome. Uh, let's say you are going and you search another area, I believe Ohio has them. You look in here, you'll notice, okay, so, Again, I'm, this is not always totally accurate, but assuming you see a lot of green in your area and let's say you need the traffic sensor filtering, if that's the case, you're gonna wanna come in here and download 1.51. So do this, uh, run the installer, and then the actual software program you can find on Uniden's website. Uh, click right here and pull it up. And then um, in order to install the firmware, you're gonna wanna go to uh, this right here, the firmware update manager, and I'll put links to all this stuff, the test results, these websites, where you can download the firmware and all. Um, I'll post links to this in the video description so you can find access to all this information. So for those of you guys who are wondering, you know, which firmware should I run? Uh, this is really what it comes down to primarily. People have been testing performance differences. Uh, maybe there's some, you know, better performance with 1.23. I haven't been following it too much, but it doesn't seem like it's a conclusively better thing or anything. There's been some bug fixes. So all things being equal, I figure run the newer one with the bug fixes and whatnot, but in any event, 1.35 seems to be a good choice and 1.51 if you need the additional K-band filtering. So that's all it really comes down to. So uh, again, check the video description for links to all this kind of stuff. And uh, this should cover uh, you know, the question to which version of the unit and firmware you should be running. So awesome. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye.